Hello and welcome to another new Final Cut Pro plugin for you to download and use wherever you like. It's called XFX 5 Star Rating and what it does, it does a selectable rating uh, on screen. So you can go from 0 to 5 stars, 1.5, 3.5, whatever you like and it's all very customizable and I'm going to show you how to use it. So XFX 5 Star Rating, you'll find it in the Titles Browser under XFX Free. So let me just click on it and drop it onto the timeline. And there you go. We have a nice 4.5 rating of whatever this couple is looking at. It might be a restaurant or it could be a film, anything like that. Um, you can, it's really quite flexible what you can do with this. However, installation wise, we have instructions on our website. Really easy to follow, um, but they are on there for your reference. Now let's have a look at some of the controls of this plugin. Command 4 will open the inspector and we can see here we've got all the controls um, from the obvious ones to uh, maybe not so obvious ones. But let's say obvious one, we want to change the rating. So we go 4.5, we can drop it down to 3.5 or even if they hate the place, no stars or five stars. It does it in 0.5 increments and you've got both ends of it. So let's leave it on 3.5 stars for a moment. Um, the animation, there's a build-in. It comes in from the bottom. We can toggle that on and off. So you can dissolve it on and dissolve it off should you want. And exposition is really quite simple. It's just the position on the screen, left to right, that you want to put that in. And then Y position, again, same. But that's the finished position on the animation. So if I wanted to go to the top, then um, I can actually just move that up and then play that back. And you can see it goes up to the top, but I'll undo that because I want to keep going. And the off-screen Y is just the position where it actually starts from. So if you want to go right to the top um, and it, you clip the incoming, um, then you can just push that off-screen with that. Acceleration set to 100. It does a nice S curve, so it decelerates. If you put it down to zero, it'll just come in and go clunk and stop. But I actually quite like the S curve on there. Size is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's at 80 at the moment, but what I can do is I can tap 100% in there and it'll go to 100%. You can actually go as big as you like. It's all made with vector graphics. So there's going to be no quality loss if you go as large as you like on there. Now we get down to the controls for the actual icons in here. The hollow star opacity is, is this, and we can take that down and up. All five of them uh, will adjust at the same time. We can leave that wherever we want to. And hollow edge color, we can make that whatever we like. Maybe keep that on the blue. You might have some corporate colors you want to match. And also there's a little drop shadow on them all in there, which I can turn off. You can see that coming in and out on there. It makes the legibility a bit better on there. And also with the drop shadow, I can control the opacity in there and the blur, etc., just to help you be able to read these stars against the graduated background that we've got at the moment on there. And then we've got fill color. At the moment, um, we've got it as a gradient. You can have a color, plain color. I can adjust that. Maybe not that blue because you can't see what's going on here. If you put it back to gradient, you have the start and end colors of the gradient. So maybe go for a nice yellow to blue or maybe not on there. And also the edge. So round the outside is um, this stroke, which you can control. You can control the width of that. Um, you can actually control uh, the color of it as well. So let's say we want that to go black, uh, which we'll just pick from there. Black, and then maybe we want it a bit bigger. And then there's an overall drop shadow as well. You can just see it at the moment on there. Um, I'll toggle it on and off. Let's put the opacity up a bit and a bit more of a blur. If you need to get the thing to stand out against something, you can do that. Um, so maybe that's OK. Maybe we could change this to white. Why don't we do that? Nice uh, white color on the fill. Make it nice. And we don't want the color on there. So um, low edge color. We will make that a um, let's have a think. Let's put it into the uh, grayscale sliders and maybe one of those grays like that. A nicer black and white. That's a bit more kind of uh, uh, magazine review type look to it. 
So there you go, as you can see, uh, a completely free plugin for you. We call it XFX 5 Star Rating. Um, you can use it on whatever project you like. Uh, you can adjust it. You can actually go into Motion and open it if you really want to and put different things in as these icons. Because um, I actually made this plugin for Ben Balsa to um, help out a project he was doing um, because he was in. He needed something quite quickly. And I use stars. He used something else. But just one thing to remember, if you do alter the plugin, these are um, actual letters, um, so they're fonts. It's made up of fonts, and the center of a font isn't the center. It's actually centered off. I think it's from the bottom right. So to what took quite a lot of time was lining everything up so it worked perfectly, and then all the wipe match. So if you do want to put um, some other icons into here, it's just not as easy as cutting and pasting some in. You will have to do a bit of X, Y positioning to get everything to line up perfectly on there. But it's well, I think you probably agree it's worth it once you once you do it. So there you go. It's a free plugin. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you use it and hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this one. Bye bye.